I want you all to know, all you guys to know that I'm packing today. <laughs> I wish I was packing heat because it's a little cool this morning. <laughs> but I'm carrying on my body a concealed instrument. <laughs> now, <laughs> this instrument is special. It is a world-class instrument. It has a history that goes back to the Egyptians. The ancient Greeks played it. The Romans played it. Even the isolated Chinese empire played it. And I bet some of you have never heard it played. Now, my grandfather played it. That's why I have it. That's why I know about it. He said, Every kid in the neighborhood played this instrument. Montgomery Ward's catalog. How many know Montgomery Ward? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Carried it in its catalog. So people all over the country played it. It costs 30 cents in the catalog. I have it on my body. I not only have one, I have many of them on my body. It's a wonderful instrument. Raise hands. Who knows that doesn't know me and know, know that I play it? Who, who can guess what this is? It's a kazoo. Harmonica. Yeah. No. It was brought to this country by the Irish. The blacks played it in the, in the old minstrel shows. Wooden. Yes. Yes, yes. Played the Called the bones. The, oh. the bone. Oh. The originals were made out of bone. They were rib bones of cows or goats or People. whatever, the, the larger <laughs> bones. And they have a curve to them. You can really see the curve if you turn one over and you use the convex side. And it rocks like that. My grandfather played these. And this is these were his. The way you do it, you put the middle finger through there and that middle finger holds the one closest to the thumb tight. <clears throat> That's the rock. That one never moves at all. The other one goes on the other side of the middle finger, and that's loose. It's just trapped by the ring finger. And it's not done with the fingers at all. It's played with the wrist by turning the wrist. So what happens is like opening a door, you get to that last bit and the catch won't let release, and you give it that little and that's what makes the sound. Now it's a little bit like castanets. It's a percussion instrument. But what makes it really special is when you turn on the windshield wiper. <laughs> the base of the windshield wiper is the elbow. And it goes like this. And it creates a triple click like that. You can also suppress it so you can get two. So there's lots of different ways to do it. It's a wonderful instrument, and if you continue to do it, that's called rattling the bones. <laughs> you may have heard that expression. This is where it comes from, right here. Now, you notice I'm playing with one hand and we have two hands. Well, if you're a little bit ambidextrous, like I am, you can play it with both hands. Now, I don't want to be anybody to be concerned, but I want you to realize I've been playing today with my grandfather's bones. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good Catholic and he would come to the mission. <laughs> this would be his spot to do it. He was also a very trenchant fellow. He carried his bones everywhere. He carried them in his suit coat. He played them anywhere he went. He went to Las Vegas, he pulled them out, got up on stage after the act and played the bones, wherever he was. The reason that I have some actually is somewhat due to my grandmother, because she would steal his bones, so he couldn't play <laughs> when they went somewhere. However, he always had another pair somewhere. <laughs> so after he died, I was given a set of his bones and I never he never taught me to play them but I had that memory in my body
in my ear because when we were kids, he used to take us around. He would come in the door and my sister would run out the back door <laughs> and the rest of us would get hauled off to play to, he was 94 and he would take us out to play the for the old folks. <laughs> we ended up on television one time. He took us to the bishop's house. Any event or anything, he would haul us all and, and have us perform. So I have some of that energy in my body of the performer, as you may notice with this. Now, I want this to continue. These are great things. I want you to realize the value of these because these things are light. They are indestructible. They fit the body. They can go anywhere. They're always in tune, and kids everywhere love them. So I want to continue the tradition. So actually, these are ones that I made, and I gave sets to all three of my kids. And my daughter Oakley has picked it up, and she's getting better all the time. <laughs> I want to show you. This is my grandfather playing the bones. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And Beautiful. those bones that you see, this yeah. picture is probably 50 years old. It may be these same bones. Oh. Oh. So I want to end by having you join me in a Christmas carol. Just one verse of we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy